First, let's take a look at integers. x equals 5. y equals 5. x equals equals y. Of course it does. x is y. True. What is happening is here in memory, x is pointing to 5, which is in memory, and y is also referencing the same spot. That's what's happening here. Let's put that to the test. ID of X and ID of Y, they should be the same. 149329-1536. 149329-1536. They are the same. They're pointing to the same spot in memory. But I can change that, or can I? Let's find out. Y equals 5. Same number. X is Y. Still true. But what if I now key in Y equals 7? X is Y false. Now the system has come over here. It's taken this integer. And this guy is now pointing to, or referencing, this guy in memory, 7. Now let's see what happens when we change this to floats. Here we go. X equals, let's use the basic same numbers, 5 dot uh, four, 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 and y equals five dot four, four, four. So it should be like the other, yes. Let's find out. Y equals x. Yes. Y is x. Uh oh. How can that be? They're pointing to separate areas in memory. Yes. ID of x. ID of y, and we get two separate numbers. Wow. So x is referencing this 5.444, while y is referencing this 5.444. And they're in separate areas of memory. This is in area 361, yada, yada, yada. This is in 372, yada, yada, yada. Wow. Yeah, what if I take y and I assign him x? Now what has just happened? Y equal equal X? Yes. Y is X? True. What just happened now was the system came along and re-referenced the Y. Y is now equal to X's location. So Y is now referencing this 5.444. This guy, 372, he's going to get garbage collected. Let's see if this is true. If I key in ID of X and ID of Y, then I should get the same number over here, 36149968. Let's see if that's what happens. That's exactly what happens. And what then happens to this area here of memory? This gets garbage collected. Well, is this also true for lists? Let's find out. Let's use my favorite example. X equals 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And Y equals 1, 2, 3. Y equal equal X? True. Y is X? False. They're pointing to separate areas in memory. Y is referencing this 1, 2, 3. And X is referencing this 1, 2, 3. Totally different separate areas of memory. Can we put this to the test? Yes, we can. How? Oh, by keying ID of X and ID of Y, and we get what? Two separate areas of memory. X was the 370 yada 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 guy, and Y is the 4374 yada 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 guy. Wow. What if I now throw a wrench into the machine? What if I now say, you know, uh, X is uh, that X guy? Yes, he's now equal to Y. What happened now? This is what happened. X just got redirected over to Y's address. Let's see if this is true. I'm going to key an ID of X and ID of Y. I'm going to lay out, I'm going to get 374-45304 for both of them. Let's see if that's what happens. Yes, that's exactly what happens. Both of these guys are now pointing to this address. Here and here. X and Y both now point 
to this guy right here. That's what they're pointing to. But what about this guy over here? Garbage collection. He's no longer referencing any variable. Garbage collection. He's gone. Can I change that? Can I now key in x equals 1, 2, 3, same numbers, and hit enter. x is y. False. I have now done what? I have now created in memory another 1, 2, 3 list and told x to reference this guy. He's no longer referencing y is 1, 2, 3. And this is George Bull. Thanks for listening. I hope it helps. Please rate the video, click on the like button, and good luck.